Hey there, everyone. It's time for some full turns on the balance beam. Yippee! So, I'm gonna show you one first. I'm Coach Megan, by the way. Uh, it's really warm here today, but it makes me so in the mood to, you know, spin around on my foot on this balance beam here. Okay, so check it out. Voila. So as you start your turn, keep your head nice and tall like someone's pulling it on a string. Then you're gonna be more up and down. Avoid leaning forward when you go into your turn. Don't go like this. Okay, so as you step, you don't wanna go here. Oh, wow, that's scary. So don't drop your chest. Keep that chest up nice and tall. And the way I'm doing is more like for an optional full turn. Okay, I start right, if you're righty, your right arm's gonna be forward. Shoulder down, shoulder straight. Left arm's gonna be to the side. Okay, and then as I go, I pull my arms up. Okay, nice and tall, palms facing in. Just super tall, pull up strong on that foot. Try not to sink in your butt. Don't be a sinker. So you don't wanna go like this, okay? You wanna lift really tall. Same thing for compulsories. You want to lift nice and tall on that toe, get that toe to that ankle, super fast, or to the knee, whichever one you're doing. And you just want to lift up. That's the biggest thing of a full turn. So you can practice lots of drills, lifting up like that. Okay, for my way, the optional way, you can go from here, lift tall, hold for five, step forward, plie, push the arms back, lift the chin. Alrighty, and if you're turning here with the hands in first in front of you, think about not letting your elbows drop. Because doesn't that look kind of funny? Like, ooh. it's like I'm carrying a big loaf of bread or something. Pull your elbows up so it looks nicer. And spread your fingers, middle finger in, thumb in, okay? You can practice a half turn first. Nice and tall, lift. So once you feel comfortable with the half turn, okay, even if you're going this way, if you're doing to middle crown, then your left arm is going to connect to your right arm, all right? Oh, I forgot to say, don't wind up. You don't want to go like this, okay, because that's just bleh. Don't do it, because this just looks, oh my gosh. And then I don't know what in the world I'm doing. I feel like I'm just lost in outer space. Lost in outer beam space. All right, so nice and tall, stomach tight. You can practice them against a wall if you want. Put a low beam next to the wall. Stand tall, use the wall just for balance as you're turning. Lots and lots of relevates. I mean, just sit here like this forever and ever. Shoulders down, okay? When you start, look straight ahead, okay? Spot the end of the beam. Bottom mark, okay? And then when you're done, I see that exact mark. Look, it was even better because I totally concentrated. Whoa, I'm spotting. Oh, and point your feet, nice straight leg. As you turn, do never turn on a bent leg and never step with the foot turned in. You want the foot to turn to the outside. So if your foot's in when you're stepping, or get it. And of course, you never want to like look down because then you're just gonna, your body's going to go. Got it? Oh, and remember to complete the turn. Sometimes I'll see kids that aren't really around yet. They're kind of like here. Okay, you want to lift and turn those shoulders. Turn that shoulder. Turn those hips. Okay, not bending at the waist. Keep this all open and tall. All right, I think that's enough for turns, right? I'm all turned out. <laughs> um, so for my end of the workout trick, I'll do a back handspring on the beam, but I'll face, I'm gonna face the opposite way, so I'm gonna back handspring towards you. So that should look kind of cool, I hope. It's been a while, let's hope I, you know, jump real hard. Okay, here goes nothing. Yes! I 
I've still got it. Okay, everyone. Thanks for joining me and good luck with all your turns. Turn away. Check out my other lessons if you would like. And remember to always keep up with your strength and your tricks will improve. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye.